of the circus. for Jerry of the Circus. You know, Patsy, I think it's mighty nice of you to offer to loan Mr. Randall your money to meet that note. Well, I'm only sorry I didn't think of it sooner, Bum. <clears throat> you got your argument all set? Uh, I don't believe I understand, Bum. Well, don't you think you might have to argue to put the deal over? <laughs> That's two points for you, Bum. I still don't understand. Well, now, you'll find old Sam Randall hard to deal with. Do you mean to tell me that I'm going to have to talk him into taking the money from me? Exactly. Unless I miss my guess, he'll just thank you for your kind offer and then turn you down. Uh, That's what he did with me. But, but why? I want him to have the money, and I don't want any interest on it either. Well, you're a good little talker. Maybe you can convince him. Well, that's the funniest thing I ever heard tell of. Having to give a sales talk to get someone to take money from you. You'll me. find out. Well, uh, here's the office wagon. Uh, go ahead in, Patsy, and good luck. Okay. <laughs> I'm going over across the street and do a little shopping. I'll see you after a while. All right, Bum. Yeah? It's me, Mr. Randall. Patsy. Oh, come in, Patsy. Come in. Uh, are you busy? Oh, no, no, not too busy. Well, what what brings you to the office wagon to see the boss at this hour? Business, Mr. Randall. Business, huh? <laughs> well, have a chair. Thank you. Yeah. Now, then, uh, what's the big problem on your mind? Well, I'm afraid it's just the opposite. Hmm? There's nothing worrying me, but, well, uh... Oh, come on, come on, out with it. Well, uh, I just don't know how to begin, but... It's about that note you have to meet tomorrow for that $25,000 loan. Oh, well, uh... How did you know that was due tomorrow? Oh, things like that get around. And the news is getting around that you're not going to be able to meet it. Well, now, what do you know about that? Well, it's, it's true, isn't it, Mr. Randall? Yeah. Yes, Patsy, it is true. With that strike a while back, the... Days we lost after the cyclone and the bad business because of rain and... Yeah, I'm, I'm quite a few thousand dollars short. Uh-huh. Well, that's what I've come to see you about. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I'm not thinking fast today, Patsy. You'll have to explain more fully. Well, I want to help you out. You want to help me out? Uh-huh. I want to loan you my $20,000 so you won't have to borrow more money and pay more interest. Oh, well, no. That's awfully nice of you, Patsy, and I appreciate the offer, but uh, I, I, I couldn't take your money. My check is just laying in your face at doing no good. No, no, Patsy. I, I wouldn't want you to take any chances with your money. No, no, it just can't be done. Bumps warned me. What's that? Oh, nothing. I was just talking to myself. But but now I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to give you an argument. <laughs> well, now. now. You're a good businessman, Mr. Randall. And there's no reason... <laughs> That's the way to start a sales talk. <laughs> a little flattery first. Uh, I'm not <laughs> kidding. I, I want you to listen to what I have to say. And when I finish, if you don't think it's good reasoning, well... Well, all right, Patsy, go ahead. I'll listen. Good, now. <clears throat> now then, in the first place, you need the money. Mm-hmm, that's right. And I don't. And it doesn't matter whether I buy the annuity today or next month or at the end of the season. And if you can use the money, there's no reason why you shouldn't. I know it's safe. Why, why I'm positive you'll be able to pay it back by the time we get back to winter quarters. <sighs> if I didn't think so, I'd fold the show up now and head for winter quarters tomorrow. Then what's that you said about a risk? Well, well, I... Come on now, Mr. Randall. Let me endorse the check over to you. Just think of all the money you'll save in interest. Oh, no, no, wait, no, wait. That's out. 
I'd have to pay you interest uh, the same as I'd pay it to anyone else. Now, can't a friend help a friend without thinking of making money? Betsy, you're uh, you're hard to deal with, aren't you? Come on, Mr. Randall. Get the check and, and let me sign it over to you. Yeah? Well, all right, I will. Good. But you mark my words, young lady. I, I'll make it up to you for this somehow. <laughs> Is that a threat, Mr. Randall? A threat and a promise. Excuse me. You're making me very happy, Mr. Randall. It's a real pleasure to help you out like this. You've got a heart of gold, Patsy. Uh-huh. Here we are. Oh, good. Well, I'll have Jim Bennett draw up a regular note on this loan. Then I'll sign it and give it to you. Uh-huh. Uh, how long do you want to let me have this money? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just, just as long as you need it. Well, suppose we make it for 90 days, then. I'll, I'll surely be able to pay you back by then. You're, you're sure that's time enough? Oh, plenty. Your fountain pen, sir. All right. Here you are. Thank you. There we are. All set. Uh, you don't know how much this means to me. <laughs> I have a rough idea. Well, thank you a lot, Patsy. And, and don't you worry for one minute. You'll get your money back. Oh, I'm not at all worried. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, yes? Jim, Mr. Randall. Oh, come in, Jim. Well, I- I'll be running along now, I... Hello, Jim. Oh, hello, Patsy. I got some news for you, boss. Okay, I'll be right with you. Well, I'll drop by your wagon, Patsy, with that, uh... Okay, uh, uh, no hurry. Goodbye. Bye. I just fixed up a swell deal, boss. Yeah? We'll have that dough for the loan in the morning. And I got the interest rate cut in half. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Listen to this setup. All right, go ahead. Now, we put up all the animals for security. Get $15,000 for 30 days, and the interest is exactly half of what we've been paying. Well, now, who's so generous that they're willing to loan that much money with us, uh, such a low interest rate? One of our own troop boss, Boris Rusov. Well, say, that's nice of Boris to want to help me out. It sure is, boss. Yeah, but I'm going to turn down his offer. What? Yeah, I've already got the money, $20,000, and a better deal than that. We won't have to pay any interest. Wow, are you a businessman? Oh, wait a minute. Are you kidding? I should say I'm not. Here's the check. Twenty thousand. Patsy's check. Mm-hmm. The money she got from her godmother. That's right. And she's letting you have it? For ninety days. Say, that's all right. That's swell. She's a trooper. <laughs> you bet she is. Now I'll tell you what I want you to do. Yeah? Uh, draw up a note in her favor. Ninety days. Uh-huh. And uh put up uh oh put up the whole circus of security. Uh-huh. I wouldn't want her to lose out just in case something should happen to me. Uh, okay, boss. Uh, if you see Boris, thank him for me. Tell him I appreciate his offer, but we've already taken care of the loan. Yes, sir, I'll do that. Well, I'm going to take a walk out to the backyard. Uh, get that note made out as soon as you can. Right away. Uh, I'll be back in a little while. Okay, boss. If I'm not here, I'll be in the ticket wagon. All right. Uh, Mr. Randall, yeah. wait a minute. Yeah, yeah? <laughs> I forgot all about it. I was so interested in that deal. Here's a telegram that just came for Jerry. Oh, all right. I'll take it back to him. Thanks, Jim. All right, boss. Hello, Mr. Randall. Oh, how's tricks, Bailey? Okay, Mr. Randall. Well. <laughs> Good. Sam? Hey, hey. Uh, oh, oh, bump. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, right, old boy. Yeah, you're going out in the back lot. I'll just walk along with you. Okay, bump. <laughs> oh, that dog's all right, Sam. I was over across the street at that little store, you know. When I got back on the lot, there was Rags waiting for me. <laughs> he thinks as much of you now as he does of Jerry. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> oh, say, Sam, hmm? did you get that loan taken care of? You said your note was due tomorrow. Yes, Bumps, I'm all set. Everything's taken care of. Well, good, good, Sam. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, say, have you seen Dan today? Uh, Dan Dugan? No, why? I was talking to him an hour or so ago, and he was anxious to see you. Oh, I don't know. Now what's up? Well, he's got another order for animals, quite a big one. He's all up in the air about it. Well, good. Yeah. He's sure now that he can get an expedition together and start off forever. Well, that's fine, Bumps. I'm glad to hear that. He figures he'll be able to leave, oh, in about a month. Hmm. Oh, the reason he wanted to see you, he wants to talk to you about Jerry. Oh, about Jerry, huh? Well, I wonder what's on his mind. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, there he is now. Oh, Dan? Oh, no, no, Jerry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at that dog go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm looking for you, Jerry. I've got a telegram for him, Bumps. Oh, good. Uh, about that property, I suppose. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. <laughs> Hi, you are. <laughs> well, I've got something for you, Jerry. Yeah? What is it? Uh, the telegram. Gee, that's swell. Uh, where is it? Here you are. Thanks. <laughs> you gonna let us in on it, Jerry? Sure. Uh, wait. Hey, this is important. Uh, uh, what is it, Jerry? Uh, listen to this. Please inform us. Uh, it... Uh, itinerary. Stop. Uh, urgent make deal on Montana property immediately. Stop. We'll have nearest authorized agent call on you. 
H.W. McNear M.O. Railroad. Well, say, that sounds like they mean business. But what's that they want? The itinerary. Well, like, uh, Jerry, that means they want to know our route. Uh, where where we'll be playing from now on. Well, they want to send someone to call on you and talk business in one of the towns we'll be playing. Then they want to buy the property, huh? Well, buy it or lease it. Yeah, it looks like they're anxious. A lot of good fortune is coming your way, Jerry. Yeah, but maybe I don't want to sell it. Well, of course, that's up to you. It's yours, and you can do what you like about it. Oh, would you sell it if you were me? Well, I don't know, Jerry. Well, why not? The property isn't doing you any good. But I haven't even seen it. Like I said once before, maybe it's got gold or silver or, well, even oil on it. It might be worth a whole lot more than they want to pay me. Uh, why don't you wait and see what the deal is that they have to offer? Yeah, that's right, Jerry. You don't have to sell it. Wait and see what they have to say. It might be that they only want a part of it. I wonder what they want it for in the first place. Well, I, I think it's a safe guess that they want to run some of their track over the property. As a rule, that's what railroads buy property for. Say, uh, will you answer that telegram, Mr. Randall? Oh, sure thing, Jerry. I'll send them a list of the towns we play for the next few weeks. Uh, I take it they'll catch up with Jerry before a week rolls around. From that wire, it sounds like they're in a hurry. Mm, yes, it does. Well, I've got to get back to my office and... See that that money gets off to pay up the loan. Hey, did you get the money, Mr. Randall? You bet. Oh, gee, that's keen. Yeah. Well, I'll see you after a while. Uh, tell Dan I'll be in my office wagon, Bob. All right, I'll do that, Dan. Hey, does Mr. Randall want to see Uncle Dan? No, well, but your Uncle Dan wants to see Mr. Randall. Oh, I wonder what about. Haven't you seen your uncle today? Today? Gosh, I, I've hardly seen him for the last three days. He sure must be busy on something. He is, Jerry. He got another order for animals, and he's as busy as old get out. He's getting wires off and arranging things. Another order, huh? Yeah, and a big one. He figures to leave on an expedition pretty soon now. It's a wonder he wouldn't let me in on the good news. Oh, I guess he's just been too busy. Yeah, I suppose. Mm -hmm. He told me that he wants to have a talk with Mr. Randall about you, Jerry. About me? Mm-hmm. Well, maybe it's something about the property in Montana. No, no, I don't think that's it. And what is it? I don't know, but I wouldn't worry about it if I were you. No, I'm not worried. Oh, you're just curious, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Well, come on. Let's walk over to the wagon. Okay. Come on, Rags. Hey, Bumps. Mm-hmm, Jerry? I wonder why the railroad company wants to buy my property. Well, probably for a right-of-way, like Mr. Randall said. You don't think that they know it's worth a lot of money and they're going to try to get it from me? Oh, no, no. I wouldn't think that. Oh. Sure is funny. Just get the property, then right away they want to buy it. I wonder what Uncle Dan wants to see Mr. Randall about me for. Mm -hmm. 